Russian President Vladimir Putin is vowing to defend his country against an uprising that was suddenly halted. The head of a mercenary group is now pulling back after a deal was brokered between both sides. CBS 2's Christine Sloan has the latest from the newsroom. Dramatic moments as the leader of the Wagner Group announced his forces would end a march on Moscow. The political crisis has been brewing between the group and Russia over President Putin's Ukraine policies. Wagner Group leader Yevgeny Prigozhin being treated like a hero and his troops cheered on as they leave the city of Rostov. While tensions easing with tanks pulling out, a chaotic 24 hours for President Vladimir Putin, who faced a potential civil war and vowed to protect his country. We will protect our people and our statehood from any threats, including treason from the inside. The mercenary group had been on its way to Moscow, but instead turned around after the leader of Belarus brokered a deal. The Kremlin saying it allows Prigozhin to flee to Belarus and spares his troops from any repercussions. The mercenary group, which fights on Russia's side in Ukraine, had grown angry with Russia's military leadership. Prigozhin had told his troops they were pulling back, saying, they were losing too many soldiers. Vast territories have been lost, and there are three, four times more killed soldiers compared to what's being reported. We have daily losses of up to a thousand people. On Friday, Wagner had taken over Russia's military headquarters in Rostov on Don, south of Moscow, vowing to oust the defense minister. Residents fearing conflict, waiting in lines at train stations to get out. This as Russia's war in Ukraine continued, a Russian missile hitting a 24-story tower in Kyiv, but Ukrainian officials saying they had intercepted 20 missiles. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky calling the situation complete chaos, saying Putin was obviously afraid and hiding, but the Russian president's press secretary saying Putin was at the Kremlin all along. Live in the newsroom, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News.